Team captain, former national team player as well. It's Al Papara scoring for Ribisco. Al Papara coming off a seven point performance. Good ball distribution so far from Betamar. Engaging that middle blocker from Qatar. Leaving Al Papara with a single. And then I said, with years of experience, when you take a look at their average age, you just know that they've been through a lot of international competitions already compared to Rebisco. Na medyo mababa yung age range natin. But nevertheless, we get the advantage that time around the block. I guess Felipe Bandero take another look here. A uh, solo block by Alpafara. Good timing for Alpafara. Rebisco. I won. Five surging four. Combination play. And Alpapara knocks it in. Alpapara apologizing to the Qatari player for potentially hitting him on the way down. Play from Al Arabi, then try to open up that cross court and see if we can actually defend that attack. An awkward play there from Alpapara. Good coverage against the Bandero attack. Alfafara was blocked. Here comes Marasiga and a push. Bandero with the up. Borislav going to Ribiero. Ribiero with a dump. Great save by Alfafara. Sintal almost got it. Free ball for Rabisco Philippines. Alfafara against three blockers. It goes outside. Alfafara. Rabisco scores just their second point of set number three. Good enough, they got that. They were a bit disorganized getting that free ball. But Alfafara. Good sir. Chance here for the Philippines. And they're gonna get that point. Lamang na Ribisco. 2-1. It's a good start here for Ribisco Philippines. Look at that wall built by Alfafara and Malabunga. Perfect lead there by Alfafara. Talaga pinayungan. Yung opposite hit na yun. The opposite set by Retamar, sobrang lain ng pinanggalingan niya. And uh, John Vick able to adjust to that. Trying to score once again. The Philippines here, off that regalo. Looking right, hitting left. Mark Alfafara for that down the line hit. And look at the court sense of Retamar. He really just knows where his spikers are. And uh, I guess that's a connection that you built also, no? Kahit na. You know, compared to other countries, mas may gong na napalo yung bola. That's gonna sail out another point here for Ribisco. Ribisco looking to be able to pick up their first victory here in the competition. Credit half of that point to Retamar. Kita mo na pagkagat niya yung middle blocker ng Thailand, leaving out para nine serving twelve. Diamond food trying to make some headway. It's not gonna happen there though. 
Alcaparas down the line hit have been doing damage here for Rubisco Philippines. He's done that a couple of times here today. Still no good response from Diamond Foods. But push it was there, just too much behind. This is the most crucial part of the of the set no yung end game. Pagka 20 plus 9, it's a good sign that Pusit is currently at the back. Diba? I know he's been producing points from the back line, but it's still different when you hit from the front line. The Alpha Farah leading the charge here for Rubisco. Takes off a lot. We're tied once again. We can go on till tomorrow. And the connection between Reta Marna and Fafara is the perfect height, the perfect speed. Stay alive. That's too low for the captain. That might have been out. The decisions are going to be crucial. But we're tied once again at 29. Boy, who's going to blink first here? Take note, this is just the first set. We're in for a thrilling match here. To be as exciting as advertised. It's going to get over. Chance ball here for Disco. Let's see what they do. That's going to get through and again. It's another tie. We're tied at 30. Back to back for Alpha Fara. That's actually his third in this row. And acknowledging the middle blocker in the mid defense, and sa kabila wala libero on the. Can he finish it for his squad? A lot of spin on that one. Good pass there. Again, the combination play works for Retamar. Well, a challenge is going to be coming here. Four with from Diamond. Keep that high. Again, it's the low fast set, no, that has been that has been um, doing the magic for Rubisco Philippines. It's another nip and tuck affair. Combination play works. For Bisco Philippines, Isa Marasigan showed 40 minutes earlier today. There's a good check there from our double block. That's going to get through. What looked like a formidable wall is broken there by Rebisco Philippines. Mark Alcapara powering through. Not even the taller Kisada could get to that. Better pass there. And that results in another tie. Alcapara, too much power. But his game is slowed down here. As Carmelo's mentioned. Alcapara's gonna score. You could see yung tingin na ni Ish Polvorosa and uh, Mark Alcofara kanina. That's a good... Good touch there by the blockers. Ooh. And here comes the rally of the Philippines. It's now or never. Down the line hit for Alpha Fara. He's been doing the whole game. Especially in the first set. See what they do with this offset. That time coming up the block. Is Thailand? No, they're gonna say it's gonna be a point, Philippines. Mark Alpha Fara with that off the block kill. No touch on him. Did the blockers get to leave it? Okay, 
Well, the wall has been set. And it's carried the Philippines to a one-point lead here. It's the adjustment that we want to see. Sabi nga natin, pag paulit-ulit na ginagawa, you really have to make that adjustment. Whether it's in-game or whether it's from, you know, you studying the game your opponents before the match begins. Pero kailangan... It's now a five-point lead. And the team with the lead finally get a set here. Philippines saying, not yet. Good set there, there was a delay. Sahabol noong middle blocker ng Thailand. Pusid have done here in this whole game. And now they're trying to go to Pusid a little bit more. Quick score there by the Philippines will bring them closer. The Pusid counterpart from the Philippines. Simple and efficient, Mark Alfafara on that kill. He knew. The Philippines now up by four, looking. Again, nakaka ano na sila, check. Ito na, lamang na sila na tatlo. Like I mentioned, yung, yung pag-check na ng bola, malaking bagay na yun to deflect or slow down the ball. And we have very potent attackers like Alfafara here. To deliver for the count. And it's really just yung action nung kanyang wrist that dictates where his attack is gonna go, which direction. Kaya nang hirapan din talaga yung mga blockers natin na kapatan siya. And that's very detailed. There's a combination of power, high contact, and strong wrist action in a player.